Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Dishonored 2. This time to the standalone DLC or standalone expansion pack, Death of the Outsider. I didn't know if I was actually going to visit this, but I did play the entirety of the first two games on my channel. Um, and I think I hit the DLC of the first game at the very least. I, I, I plan on playing this game, so I might as well cover it on the channel. I'm excited to bring it to you guys. I'm, there are a ton of people who really enjoyed uh, my playthrough of Dishonored 2, so we are going to do that here with death to the outside this game launches this video goes live the day before the game launches i believe so let's enjoy it i hope you guys enjoy it and if you enjoy the game maybe you'll pick it up yourself also a big thanks to obviously the company for hooking me up with a free code for the game obviously i did not pay for it as i'm playing it very very early shall we play uh we're gonna get a new game going a campaign slot um i'm gonna play on hard uh, i think that's what i played the other one on what's custom customize your overall Experience enemy perception is our oh, this is cool. This was not in the options before uh, I assume this is in um, This is in the the base game now, but uh, we're gonna play on hard Because uh, we played on the first time around and I'm excited man uh, I I'm excited to learn more about the outsider for the most part because him as a creature is interesting I'm not sure if I'm gonna like the fact that they are Putting forth so much information about him, but I'm excited regardless. My name is Billy Lurk. Okay. Though What's there up? aren't many people who remember. For years, I stayed hidden. Captain of a ship called the Dreadful Whale. I was a smuggler, fence, and maybe traitor. Depending on who you ask. Our names are always overshadowed by the words whispered after them. If you hide from the world long enough, eventually nobody remembers you. Then, you're alone, living with your choices. But I could never forget the man who pulled me up from nothing. Dow. Dad. The knife of Dunwall. The knife of the my heart. The called out by the desperate or the dying. The assassin who ended one empress and saved another. Shame burns inside you for a long time. When I betrayed Dow, he let me live. I left Dunwall. And my own name behind. For years, I wondered if I was worth forgiving. For years, I laughed at myself for even wanting a killer's forgiveness. Sometimes mercy cuts deeper than any knife. Now I know that forgiving is something you do for yourself as much as for the people who hurt you. I know Dowd is in Karnatha, and I'm going to find him. All right. If uh, like every night for weeks. Okay. The same terrifying dream. A street fight. My arm dead and lying in the gutter. My eye gouged out by a Grand Guard sword. But when I wake up, they still hurt for hours. Gives me the creeps. This always brought me a little comfort. You stole this for me, didn't you, Deirdre? Now it's all I have left of you. Another relic from the old days. Still holds an edge, at least. That boxing club in the Albarca Baths is my last lead. Dowd has to be there. Now, if you remember from the end of the of Dishonored 2, there's like a post credit scene or, or what have you, where you she does find him. Uh, so we know he's she's gonna find him. Ooh. I'm so good. Okay, contracts, huh? What's this? Burn the White Hound. Uh. Ooh, we get some contracts. That's cool. Uh, an eyeless hag stole my poor Milky. He's white as whalebone, but riddled with disease. It breaks my old heart to ask this of you. But if you find my Milky, please put him out of his misery and burn his remains. Save him from, from those cursed eyeless and save Karnarka from another plague. Show tutorial? Uh, at any time, you can review your list of contracts from by pressing J. You can activate the markers and the targets, blah, blah. So they're like side quests. Got it. Uh, and then those thugs of the Albarca make potions and bone charms upstairs. Their liquor is vile, but it sells for good coin. And we're losing punchers to them day by day. Bring us the rat liquor recipe before our brewery goes out of business. And make sure to destroy their stock while you're at it. Easy Burglary, enough. Burglary, spying, picking pockets. Dowd taught me more than just killing. It can keep me afloat. For now. All right, so basically, it's a way to get money and experience and whatnot. Uh, the Lonely Rat Boy and Other Tales. It was the year of the rat plague sank its bloody teeth into Dunwall and tore out it all, 
all its mercies. The year the people who lived submerged within the shadows of the city's great uh, edifices suffered most. This lonely child knew no family but a small white rat. Whatever piece of half-rotted food he found, he shared with this creature. He knew no name, only the vile curses thrown at him by the thugs and mul mudlarks who tormented him daily. Their fists raised their knives on his skin. How they grinned, bearing all their blackened teeth. The boy, bruised and shaken, cradled his little friend to his chest as they sat together in some dark alley for a moment's breath. Soon the city watch found him. Move on, said the watchman. The boy did not know where to go. He pleaded with the man, who answered with a truncheon across the youngster's cheek. Move on, he said again with a scowl. The boy turned to run. He'll be weeping soon, he heard the watchman spit. The boy's heart stuttered with fear. The rat watched him plaintively with red eyes. No one will help us, the boy said to his only friend. Good to know. All right. So it's good to be back here. Um, our last fight. I wouldn't have blamed Emily for killing me then and there, bringing down the Empress and everything gets thrown into chaos. A lot of people got hurt, but it was worse than that, wasn't it? I helped kill her mother. That's two times I was spared, but at least I got to put it right. This is how Dodd fell. Fell? Is this how Dodd felt? Feels? My dreams are getting worse, too. Stronger. Sometimes I stare at my ar right arm like it shouldn't be there. My head hurts like I'm blinded by blood. I started to write it all down, just to keep it on hand. Two weeks until I'm back in Karnaka. The longest two weeks of my life. If I even make it, the engine's still rattling. Uh, my old self again. It felt good to say the name. Even better to hear it. And now it's on every corner of Karnaka. Wanted. Billy Lurk. I've been sending out messages to my contacts in the city, following up on sightings and rumors, but nothing yet. I, ha I even listen to the rats. Sometimes they know things others don't, and their voices remind me so much of Deirdre. I found the old man's wanted poster in a trunk. Now I'm looking for Dow, just like, just like all of Dunwall was years ago. Hope I have more luck than they did. A long shot. One last lead, an underground boxing club of places. Dow could be fighting there, maybe another dead end, but I have to be sure. I tried to pump out the engine room, but no use. My ship's dead in the water. Megan Foster would have been furious, but I'm not. I've got other things to worry about now. All right. Well, good stuff. So I'm, this is taking place after the game, and it doesn't seem like it's it's using the save file. I don't think from from my uh, single player playthrough here. Actually, I'm gonna see if I wanna make sure that that's right, so hang on one second. Okay, well, I actually went back and reinstalled Dishonored 2 to make sure that I could see my saved games. Don't think it actually matters, so that was a big waste of time for me, but that's okay. You guys have no idea how long that took, and I'm not telling you. Um, let's do a little exploration here and see what's around. Cause I, like I said, I assume this is taking place during, uh, after the game, after the original game. Also, the, the mouse sensitivity feels very high, as it tends to in these types of games, uh, early on, for some reason. It's not that bad. We'll bring it down by about five. That's better. It's not great. Oh, this picture of me and Dowd. Screw that. All right, let's take a look at the map. I've been searching for months. I know you're here, Dowd. Somewhere. Okay, we take the carriage next. Wanted poster. Everyone in Dunwall was afraid of him then, but not me. Black Magic Fighters? That club is run by a gang that call themselves the Eyeless. They claim to fight using black magic. If that's true, then Dowd might be involved. All right, well, there's a mark of the outsider. Dowd's had the mark of the outsider in his hand for as long as I've known him. I've gone through every gang-infested slum asking after this, and no one would tell me a thing. Eyeless remains an eyesore for our city. Two raids by the gar Grand Guard occurred last night, resulting in a few arrests as investigations continue into the activities of the gang known as the Eyeless. Both raids were conducted by on derelict warehouses in the Campo Seda dockyards. Several shipments of whalebone were found at both scenes, along with many carved talismans familiar on sailing ships. These trinkets, marked with strange insignias, were collected along with various unidentified powders, noxious plants, and vials of unknown liquid. Though these items add credence to rumors of black magic being practiced by the Eyeless, the Grand Guard has not called for overseer support. Roving Vice Overseer Cardoza of the Abbey of the Everyman, when reached to the for comment, stressed the spiritual danger of the card, blah, he gave no further remarks, blah, blah, blah. No problem. Notes of about Al Alberca Baths. Went to see old Ma Madge again. Traded some old whalebone and a bit of hair, not mine, for information. She's making charms for the eyeless now. Good clients, pay regular. 
left for Madge tried to pick my pocket. Some witches from the Royal Conservatory joined the Eyeless. Uh, powerless now, none of the Brig Brigmore days who would remember me at least. No reason to think they'll look twice if I go like it, uh, in like anyone else. Are these people just messing around? So that, that right here is um, referring to the DLC from the very first game. Think I lost my pocket knife, Madge? Cursed little woman. Can't know if doubts at the Alberta bath till I go check it out for myself. Are these gonna give me anything? We should just grab all of this. Megan, you must be pretty desperate if you're writing to me about this. Yeah, I saw him. He set up a meeting to buy some of those funny explosives that fell off the back of a carriage a few months ago. I waited for him, but he never showed up. Sorry, I can't help anymore. Uh, I haven't seen or heard from him since. Put me in a real bind, Isabel. Also, hey, you were kind not to mention it, but I didn't forget I still owe you that case of fig wine after what happened last time. Give me two more months, I swear I'll get it to you. Karnaka is full of secrets. If I have any clues about where Doubt is, it's because he let me find them. Okay. Dearest Megan, what an intriguing message. Who's this then? An old lover? Forgive me, but he doesn't really seem your type. But if you must, I heard a rumor a few months ago from the ge some gentleman that a man looking like what had been spied with those bizarre eyeless. I filed that piece of gossip away just in case it was important. Lucky you. When you're coming back here, make it soon. We miss you. We have some of that tobacco you like stored away just in case you visit. Okay. And Billy, or Megan, or whatever you go by these days, I don't know anymore. It was easy to pretend we didn't know each other when you were Megan. Uh, we agreed to respect our new lives and not dredge up bad memories. So what are you what are you doing? Yeah, I saw him two years ago here in Karnaka. He even asked after you. I said I hadn't seen uh, you since the night in the flooded district. I'm sure you know why I lied. He never stopped killing, you know. He's got some the same old grudges. I just hope you're not one of them. So, all referring to the DLC from the first game, which is cool. Oh, bad dreams. These are the strongest they've ever been. Feels like I'm really dying each time. I'll be in some alley in Karnaka, the sleeve of my coat soaked uh, to the shoulder in blood, half blind, face split open like a river crust. Thieves waiting to check my uh, head for gold teeth and grab a better pair of boots of the Grand Guard. Swords bloody laughing as I die. It's a little different every time, but not by much. When I wake up, I look in the glasses to make sure my eye is where it was the night before. And who in the aisles has to check to make sure their own damn arm hasn't been hacked off in the night? Ridiculous. I'm running low on tobacco, blah, blah, blah. Actually, this might be... This actually might be taking place before Dishonored 2, at least right now. Because in Dishonored 2, she is missing her arm. The dream again. It was the Grand Guard I know at this time. A fight I couldn't handle, a misstep, a mistake. And I cut open a sword arm lying on the street. Me, not even half myself, staggering through Karnaka, trying to tie off the tourniquet with my teeth, pulling with all my strength as I feel each heartbeat shudder a little slower, a little weaker. When I woke up, my right arm was numb right up to the elbow, and my right eye stung as bad as the time Anton tried to cook hot pepper on the griddle in the alley. It's like my mind is playing tricks on me. It takes me a while every morning to know what's real. Alright, interesting. I tried to have a dreamless night by drinking some of that foul liquor Anton left behind, but the dream came anyway, and now my head hurts like I'd bashed it against a wall. The sea's choppy this morning, too. Just my luck. I'd been in some nasty spots in the past, but I never had to pinch my own f uh, face shut to watch my hand twitch in the street, so why do I keep dreaming it? Every time it feels more like a memory than anything else, and it's getting worse. I'll have the dream, then the fingers on my right hand are stiff for hours in the morning and I can barely tie a knot, and my right eye will go blind without warning. I don't know what to do. If I tell anyone about it, they'll just think I'm drinking Anton's liquor every night. I'm throwing the rest of that bottle overboard. Okay. Uh, last night I fell asleep holding the charm Deirdre gave me. I remember her picking some rich man's pocket for some coin or a watch, and instead she pulled out this thing, dead and humming. She bundled it up in a braid of her own hair and gave it to me for luck, but it wasn't luck that made the rat start talking. It was only after Deirdre lay dying that it started whispering her sweet voice to me. I dreamed her in patches, red hair peeping out from uh, her baker boy hat, those sharp eyes, the quickest hands in Dunwall. We used to lie together, and the feeling of her fingertips across my skin would be the only thing in the world to me. I'd close my eyes and nothing else would matter, but in the dream, she looked at me like she'd been alone so long she couldn't even recognize me. I reached out and my arm was gone, and I could barely see her through the blood and pain, so far away and half me missing. It was an older, older wound that hurt this time. When I woke up, I was alone again. I don't know what I expected. I've been alone on the ship for weeks. Nobody but me and the rats that chew up the wires in the engine room and then tell me with a laugh. Well, I think we've read everything. Yeah, nothing over here. Already checked this. We can grab this. An abandoned letter to the Empress. Your Imperial Highness, thank you for the gift. While your generosity is to Empress Emily, I don't want your coin. Lady Emily, I can't take your coin after what I did. I'm trying to find a way to make peace. Dear Emily, I wish 
What to do? Mend vest, seal hatch, bullets, whiskey. Well. Good to know. Hey, Karnaka. Good to see you, boo. Let's take a look around the boat, see if there's anything we can grab. Supplies or something. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do. What a waste. Yeah, we still have our arm. And she's running kind of weird with it hanging out like that. <laughs> Don't mind me, just gonna stick my arm out. For safety, this please keep this different. This hasn't been used Distance. for years. Hiding the dreadful whale wasn't easy. But it's safe so far. Well, it's been a while since I have played, so I'm trying to refresh myself on some of the controls. No double jump available yet. Assuming we'll unlock that as we level. Um, do I just dive off? If I remember, though, there's like... Yeah, we should go over here. There's like nasty fish in the water. Nothing down here. Let's go, family. Let's go. How's it going, everybody? Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces passing. I'm homebound. Whoa. Rat whispers. Press F to hear the thoughts of the rats. These little creatures whisper to one another, exchanging information about what is going on in the streets and basement from their point of view. The muttering is are often cryptic, but sometimes they can give you clues. What can you tell me today, my little gutter friends? The friend hears us. One of us. One of us. An ugly and big, still friend. Okay. She fed us many times. Tossed us grains and crumbs. Love was king. Metal flashed. More blood. Flies on the floor. Our first feast. Rather up. So somebody fed them. Also, it's reminding me that I need to put on... Uh, yes, I have headphones on. Um, subtitles. All dialogue. Yes. Let's see if we can get a little bit more info. Poison? Okay. Well, glad, glad you gave me all that sweet information. Very useful. Nothing else over here. All right. Well, we're going. Let's ride. Go to the Alberca Bass. Yes, let's go. I'm actually excited to see where this is going to lead because she is missing her arm. Oh, no. She's... I completely forgot she should not be missing her arm anymore because of the way it ended and the way time, like, got messed up. God, it's been so long. I may need to watch, like, my last video, but I forgot towards the end, like, due to my actions, like, she got her arm back and everything and she didn't actually lose her arm. All right. The old Albarca Baths shouldn't be far. The reason she's remembering about losing her or dreaming about losing her arm and stuff is probably because she did lose her arm before, uh... I use that time device that changed the past. It's That's not quite right. the old life. I forgot. But it feels good. I wonder if Dowd has seen these. I completely forgot about that. So, yeah, no, this, this is definitely taking place after the second game. Wolfhound, dead. Um, Fidela's journal. Uh, Second Earth, I tried the old incantations over the teeth and strings like before, but it didn't work. It always used to work. Is the magic really gone? Heard about a gang from one of my sisters. She said they do things like that, what we had together. I don't know where else to go. The Atlas might be content with scratched up bones and rat liquor, but I'm not. I tasted the dark waters of the void with my sisters. I know what it feels like to turn the things you hate to ash and to watch bright flowers bloom from the cinders. These people don't know real magic. I think I found a way. If I can snatch one of the stray hounds off the street and steal some carved whalebone, I might be able to get back a glimmer of my power. I know what words to speak over and just hope the outsider listens. I used to raise dead hounds from the earth to stalk shadows and tear my enemies to pieces. And now, 
I watched the life run out of the, his wretched, this wretched creature. Its heart shuddered and stopped, and I felt nothing. Just pity. It's gone. So the magic is gone. So we can carry this dead animal. So she's clearly trying to get a magic back. God. Some obstacles that block your path are breakable. Use your sword to destroy them. How about I do that? Okay. Through we go. Not seeing anything. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, wait, wait. They won't. They're not, they're not, not even, they're not waiting and they're not talking. There we go. Who is this you speak of? Woo. Press C to toggle stealth mode, crouch down and moving silently. Thanks. Okay, this is the alt controls. I'll take the copper wire. So is it just the one? Sneak up to unaware enemies in stealth mode to assassinate them or non-lethal. Well, much like before, I'm a non-lethal guy. So that's what we're gonna have to do here. Good night. Sorry, man, you're looking at my poster. I'm gonna take you out of here, though. Yeah, he's snoozing. I'm glad that when you knock a man out, he decides to snore. Down you go, pal. All right, well, you got nothing on you, nothing valuable anyway. Stop running. There's no need to be sprinting. Why are you running? There we go. It's like toggled on the sprint there. Stay away from the light, fam. Can I turn this off? Nope. So this is the main door. But there's also a quieter path over here, I think. Quick access wheel. Press and hold blank, quick access wheel, select the weapon, gadget, or power you want in your left hand. Assign a hotkey. Alright, right, right. So we got that, and we got that. Voltic shot, standard ammunition for the Voltic gun, static burst that stuns targets. Well, we don't have the heart. I thought we had the heart, but we do not. Grindstone. It's just noise. Eat the fig, even though we have no need to. Is there really nothing in here? Oh no, we can just pop up over the edge, got it. Okay. Um, we may wanna try and stun them, but we may be able to just skip by them as well. Press blank to attack with your sword. Press, uh, you can press, uh, press and hold F to sheathe your weapons. Got it. Drop down into an enemy from above to avoid taking fall damage. Press blank just before to form a drop assassination and control to knock him out. Thank you for the refresher course, seriously. Direly needed. What do you got for me? Okay, see you later. I'm just thinking if there's a way... I can, uh... Knock him out. The Grand Guard is aware of illegal activity in the Albarca Baths. Guards are waiting for reinforcements to begin their investigation of the premises. No problem. I'm bored. I heard a whistle. That might just be ambient noise, though. So I think I'm going to drop on this guy and knock him out, and then I may have to right click. Uh, and just take out the guy with an, with an arrow. Good night. Let's just grab him and move him to the corner. He's unconscious still, even though I just hurled him like 100 feet. So the question now is can I climb back 
up here and go around and knock him out without being seen. I think I can. Yeah, easily. Let's get quiet. Good night. All right. Beautiful. So the bone charm nearby says look around for it. Uh, Lieutenant received uh, reports of illegal activity at the baths, and I suspect the Eyeless Gang is involved. This could be our chance to finally strike a blow against the de degenerate rat eaters. I want you to scout the area with the squad and gather as much information as you can before then, but don't take any risks. The Dark Hour District will send reinforcements for a raid momentarily. Well, he's gone now. We got a gun and a bullet. And a map? Alright, well, let's not worry about that right now. Let's see if I can find myself the bone charm. I wonder if it's up there. I don't think I can actually reach it. Prop. Alright, so maybe up here? Okay, we missed. I feel like I'm gonna need to go I've up. I've heard a few things about the eyeless. Some of it's strange. None of it good. I definitely want to see if I can get... Okay, stop with the freaking sprinting. The girl just wants to run. Like, be free. I understand. You know, I get it. There ain't nothing like being free. I just don't like the fact that it's like a toggle. Alright, Bone Charm, my guess is up here. We're in neutral territory now. Characters in neutral areas won't attack you as long as you're not aggressive towards them. There's the bone charm. Could be a gimmick, but if they really do use magic. All right, bone charms will provide supernatural benefits, upgrading your prow prowess and powers, or even ent adding entirely new abilities. Corrupt and black bone charms are rare and more powerful, offering more exotic traits. But corrupt bone charms are unstable and also possess negative traits. Locate bone charms, etc. And I need to check it out. Etc. So in order to Equip it. Let's see what we got. Swift Stalker. Movement speed is slightly faster while weapons are sheathed. Not great, but it's it's got its use uses, I guess. Somebody out there sweeping. Nothing in here. Actually, let's take a look at Will Be Rich. Where uh, better? Uh, everyone wants to try and fight the brute. All folks. Uh, it looks like it's the it's the the champion. Yeah, the fighting ring bathing salts for some money right now I'm just curious if I can crack into the safe but does not look like I, I can without the code which makes sense let's see if we can maybe find the code here I shouldn't be eating the food if I need it I'm going to want to come back for it Well, I'm going to keep exploring the apartments. Unless that's the end of it right here. Looks like it. Alright, I'm done exploring the apartments. Hey. You bet. Yeah, I certainly... Yeah, I am. Uh, detection isn't the end. Even after you are spotted by enemies, various options are available to you. Kill all the enemies in combat. Defeat the enemies non-lethally. Escape a stay out of sight. Use powers. Okay, well, why would I fight anybody? I thought I was in neutral territory. Don't do that to me, game. Don't, don't, don't make it sound like I'm about to fight someone when I'm not gonna. So now I'm in hostile territory. Got it. Alright, so that was basically like two options to get to the same place. That is the apartment. Hey, how you doing? Fishy happening in there. And where? people coming and going. No Okay, that lady is still just blabbling around, rubbing things on her chest, which look at, I don't kick... I ain't a kink shamer. Do what's into you, but maybe don't talk about it in public. That's all I ask. So we gotta go to the Albarca Bats. Ruins the neighborhood, that's what it does. Okay. The body don't feel safe, safe anymore. Hey, how you doing? You're an eyeless, huh? Janet Lee owns the place. She can but answer trust your me. questions. When you're getting carved up like a screaming piglet in the ring, you'll wish you'd tried my 
You guys in your freaking weird ointments, man. Unnecessary. You don't need to go ointment town, USA. You know what I'm saying? That lavender tincture. It's good and so am I going to sneak in? She might want to like you... that foul mouth of hers with it. Hey. You're early. Not much to see right now. All right. Well, I really appreciate you not murdering me, I guess. Um. Guys. Guys, is a is a dead man in the dumpster? Hey. Excuse me, there's a dead man in your dumpster. Alright. Alright. Hey. I don't know why you're putting dead people in your dumpster. Champion challenge. Well, there's a dead person. Go away. I need to prepare for my fight. Girl, I'm about to freaking prepare for your fight myself. If you know what I'm saying. It's locked. That area's private. Get Girl, it. I'm about to freaking. But I can let you in for, say, a hundred coin. Okay. Bribe the Islas. There's a locked door to the restricted area in the Alberca Bass, not far from the entrance. Islas offered to open it for the small price of a hundred coin. How about I just knock your ass out? Or even Delilah herself. Want to open it for me or what? What's up? You going? I could just pickpocket you. Pay 45 coin. How about we say goodnight? And I just let myself in. Whoops, did I do that? Sorry. Eleanor, I'm shoving off as soon as I get coin enough to ship to wind and down. My heart soured on this place where the brute killed poor Maudie last month. I'll never forget how the crowd laughed when he got when he gutted her, pricks. No, it's time to move on. Lena says she can get to honest work, but the black arts mocked. I'd rather not look like a fool in that uniform. Jeanette said our orders came from a higher power. The Isles were privy to big secrets, she said. What a laugh. Nario, one of these fools can craft a proper bone charm or a rotting ointment. All they do is guzzle rat liquor and puke and brawl like babes. I won't miss any of them. You're my only friend here now that Maudie's gone, so I want to say farewell. Come visit me when you can. Girl. I just want you to hang out in the corner. Nobody knows what I just did. Nobody knows. Why I rob you? I'm gonna see. What the? Chill, dude. If I can sneak in on the other side, maybe through here. Huh. <sighs> Thought I saw something I could grab. I was mistaken. Maybe I should have a look at. I don't think it's supposed to fester like that. Yeah, well. I mean, is all right, but this. I don't know if these are the ones I'm supposed to be burning, but I'm doing it. Yeah, I know how elixirs work. Uh, I just need to remember the button I need to press. All right, well, let's actually like assign it to a button. Oh, it's just R. Just press R. Whispers from the Void. I think I've already got read these before from the original game. Okay, please. Put the way, put away the spring trap. Can I burn it? Okay, I can burn it. Cook up, baby. Well, I have no idea if that was my quest. But, uh. Good to know. Thanks, rats. Well, that wasn't the uh, the dogs I was looking for. Charlatans don't know squat. Still, it's all I've got now. But that's okay. I'm just gonna keep going. 
Good night, princess. I can't stop them, man. Hey, how's it going? Outsider's eyes. Doubt. They're making him fight. I have to get him out of there. That is the outsider there. So that's Doubt, huh? Look at you. Trapped like a hound in the pits. Hoping your masters will throw you a bone shot. Brute power suppressor. Do not touch. I don't know how this thing works, but it keeps the brute under control and in the pit. Have your fun, but watch out. When I've got my money's worth, our leaders will want to eyeball him. We were lucky to find such a vicious cur for, the, for their studies. You've seen him fight. If he gets out, he'll kill us all, so don't turn off the machine. This thing must be keeping Doubt's power suppressed. If I turned it off, nothing could... All right, I poked around and found the big reward bone charm stash upstairs in the workshop. Stealing is your problem, but take my advice. You can't handle the brute without some powerful bone charms. You'd best not mess with Jeanette, Lee, and her goons. Stop him. Hey, quit acting like an ass. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I've been here for years, and I ain't never seen yeah, anyone. All right, Thomas, you don't know what you're getting into with this black magic. It draws you in with harmless things like sailor's charms, but then see what ho horrors the eyeless make you do when you're too scared to leave. That's what the outsider wants. You didn't know I had a brother, did you? When we were little, there was an old woman who lived by the dockyards. Ma said to run if she ever looked at us, but we didn't listen. She was ugly as hagfish, but she'd tell us odd stories and said her black-eyed friend would visit if we were quiet. Then my brother went missing. We searched all over for him, but we had found no trace. That night I went to the old woman, that witch, and she had something awful smelling in a pot she was stirring with all her strength. I asked if she'd seen him, and she laughed, said yes, and showed me. She'd cut my brother up to pieces, nothing but bones and red flesh and the little scarf he always wore. She'd gave, uh, she'd have ground me up, too, if I hadn't run to the overseers. Get out of this cult while you can before you're gunning someone's son or daughter to get the outsider's attention. He's freaky. Why don't you roll in sardines? Freaky! Freaky, freaky, freaky. It's freaky. a less painful death. Well, you think I can't take him? I can hold my own in the ring. When you get in there, I'll put your agility right off and swing a hard left jab. For less coins, Works like I'll John. make when I win this Nobody's match. stopping me from pickpocketing people, man. The brute cheats the eye with his speed. His moves are a blur. Oh, hey. It's unnatural. I'm Trust not me. drunk You won't to land a blow. A conversation. No nice hey, how you doing? This bar is my place, not yours. Okay, sorry, sorry. Isla's Diary. Heard from some of the women who came from over the Royal Conservatory that there's a man tied up in one of the old public baths. I laughed, but they said it wasn't like that, and there's something special about him. I'll round up some others and take a look. They weren't lucky. Uh, they weren't lying. Some unlucky fool's down there. I don't know what the machine is or who put him there, but we found a real one. Void touch, just like the woman said. We moved the operator over the Alberca baths. Easier than trying to move him. He's got some real fight in him. Though you wouldn't know from how old he looks. Need to talk to Jeanette. Got it all set up now. We called him the Black Eye, Black Magic Brute. Okay, so they're just talking about Dowd. So we need to go upstairs, maybe? Who's humming? And moaning. Hey, hey, don't look at me like that. Ain't nothing over here. Blocked. There's a bone charm nearby. This place really pulled. People betting, betting boring. slips. Go away if you want to keep your teeth in your mouth. How about you let me in if I pay you? No. Whoa! Okay. 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 Guys, guys, guys. Okay. I died so fast. What the heck? That's not. I mean, she he gave me a warning. Gave me like three seconds. I'm. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean it. That wasn't, you know, I wasn't here to, to murder. Dang it. Here, I'll give you 45 coins. Is this a joke? You couldn't buy a drowned rat with this. Eat shit, nerd. Down you go. Good night, sweet princess. Well, we lost everything we stole. Whoops. Oh, that means I need to go back down here, too. Ah, dumb. Alright, well, hang on. I'm just gonna make this quick. Uh, down here. Merp, merp. Good night. Good night. 
put away my weapons. Take a look, get rid of it. Just make sure I have it marked. And then we can open up here. Goodbye. All right, let's go. Here, we'll do a quick save just to make sure. I'm gonna have to get used to quick saving again, I think. I'm just surprised there's no other way in. You would think like maybe, well there's gotta be another way in, maybe if I get some powers or something. I have no powers yet, so. A little bit of money. Outsider's eyes. Dowd. They're making yes, him yes, fight. Yes. Bop, bop, bop. I have to get him out of there. Grab that. Money. Trap like a hound in the pits. Open your masters will throw you a bone shark. All right, well, let's we go back up here. Dead bodies, all right. Well, if I had, if I left her alive, I would've been able to pay to get in right then and there. You're fighting the black magic brute? Why the black magic brute? For luck, walk three times around the square with breaches reversed. Who shakes your hand will take your bad luck from you. At midnight, face the southeast and, oh my god. For luck, yeah. I'm just gonna rob you all. Well, you think I can't take him? I can hold my own in the ring. I knife bigger blighters than him when I was a bottle street runner. And for Hylas Diary. Then I'll make when I win this match. You won't win. This bar is my place. Okay, Not sorry. Yours. Get out. Sorry, if sorry. Saving it. Trust me, you won't land a blow. Well, nobody's that fast. Nice knowing you, my friend. <sighs> hey, can you knock knock? Knock, knock. This place really pulls in coin. Can I just not? Get in there. Up your agility right off and swing a hard left jab. Works like a charm. Jeanette's key needed, so I need to go upstairs for that. And there is a way. So I think the door that I want to get into leads to where I want to go. Yeah, it looks like this is going to lead to where I need to go. And I, I I knocked out the lady who can get me in there. Who surprisingly doesn't have a key. Past the water drip. A whole, you heard, heard the rats talking about an unconventional route to the second floor at the Alberta Bass directly above the locker room. Okay. So the locker room, so the, maybe the drip drip they're talking about. Ooh. I can, I can just drop down there, but I don't want to do that quite yet. Hey, how's it going? If I go in here, aha, aha. Yes. See, I'm gonna have to start reminding myself to start looking up a bit more. Again, train myself to think vertically when it comes to this game. I'm in hostile territory now, though. Keep that in mind. Swift Shadow. Let's see what we got. Movement slightly faster while in stealth mode. Absolutely valuable. Charm Carver's Diary. Money. Sneak out. Dowd's never lost a fight. Okay, good to know. Thanks. So that's Jeanette and where we need to go. So we're gonna go across. I wanna go that way though. I miss those days. Don't tell me I've lost my talisman. I once knew a kid who said his bone charm would make bullets bounce off his skin. He shot himself in the stomach. Well, because he's dumb. Increased jump height and distance. Absolutely. 
Well, that's because he's dumb and decided that he was going to shoot himself to prove his crazy theory. What you do is you have somebody else hold it and you shoot them. That way if they die, well, you didn't die. Don't know what we did right, but we crafted a mighty powerful bone charm this time. Jeanette says it's a reward for beating the brute. So spread the word. Bone charms. All this stuff is stuff we've already known. This Remember, you got to keep in mind, this is a standalone uh, expansion pack. So if you've never played the, fir the Dishonored 2, you can play this. And they're just going to kind of keep you informed on the lore a little bit. Supplies are running low, too. Let me put the Only weapon. at the Spectre Club. I wonder if that's a private club for Eyeless members. Okay, this dude does not want me here. Down you go. You have a key. I want it. Workshop key. And is a bone charm nearby? An elixir. Also, your money. I'm a petty thief. Well. That. 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 Thank you. Um, I kind of don't want him too in the open in case somebody does swing around. So let's kind of put him up against the wall here. Oh, I fell asleep and then he drank right out of the tap. I watched him do it. Hang on. Oh, I got myself all drunken up on whatever that was. All right, let's uh, equip that other bone charm. Let's see what it was anyway. Flea Fighter, your movement is not slowed when your weapons are unsheathed. Cool. Let's keep moving. You just hang out in here. Don't mind me. She was really just gonna take a hundred bucks to let me come in here and knock out her friend and shit. I feel like that's a little stupid of her. Huh? I definitely want to knock her butt out. Good night. Let's move you over this way. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Right here is fine. I already pickpocketed you, so you're good. Basically, I just want to let uh, what's-his-face out. Uh, Jeanette, remember those old wall of light parts we found near the dockyards? Well, I found a way to make use of them. Turned out there's a part of them in that, and that powers the whole thing. So I took it out of all the rusty coils, and now we got these little electric things. So it's just like how they make the electrical burst ammo, which I already have. Letter to Alma. Dear Alma, your last letter tore my heart out with you begging me to quit the Eyeless gang and come home. Whatever gruesome tales you've heard, the Eyeless aren't bloodthirsty brutes like hatters or howlers. They know things, secret things. They're teaching me how to make medicines and brew potions and even carve my own bone charms for the occult boxing fights. If I keep winning matches, I'll catch Jeanette Lee's eye. She's the boss here at Albarca. If I work for her, then the coin will come rolling in more than I ever made toiling on the dock. Sad news about Graham's fever. I can't spare any coin, but here's some dried raven beak for a poultice. Boil it down with the arrow root in a copper pot and spread it thick on Graham's chest. Should be right as crystal rain in no time. We'll see about that. Um, that's like Dowd's men. Hey guys, how's it hanging? Oh, I am so funny. Hook mines. I don't really care about what you got to say about the hook mines. So that's where I've got to go. So instead of going that way, how about we swing this way real quick? Okay. Okay. All right, 
can like throw a body in there and burn it. Oh, there's that dude that wanted to beat me up. Let's actually throw a quick save down now that I remembered. So, I can throw a body in here, presumably, and just burn it. You know what? Yes, I know there's a bone charm nearby, and I don't know where it would be. But for now... In you go. Merp. Oh, there she goes. What are you what are you talking about? I didn't do anything. That ain't me. Bone charm? No. I was hoping like maybe after she burned, she'd have like a bone charm on her. Maybe it's up there? <laughs> No. What is nearby? Like, what do you mean nearby? Without that heart, I can't really tell. All right, we'll come back. First episode's gonna be one of the longer ones, clearly. These beauties ready for my fighting ring. Soon. I don't know how to spar yet. Yeah, you can keep talking. I'm gonna try and come around a quieter way. Found an old beggar to train him. Boots ripped him to meat goblets in a blink. Good. We want them vicious. Find some more beggars to train them on. But keep a watchful eye when you're dumping the bodies next time. We don't need the guards sniffing around here again. There's the dog I wanted to get rid of and kill. So that boiler is probably where we're going to need to murder him. All right, those are the overseers. Not Dowd's gang like I initially anticipated it being. Spooky, someone grabbing people off the street. What if Watch out, we her! her. Oh. God dang it. Time to crush. Okay. Okay, you're dead. Oh, and I'm dead. Well, it's been a while since I've played the game. Not, not, not fantastic. Not fantastic. No question. Let's keep going. We'll be fine. How's training? These beauties ready for my fighting ring? Soon. I don't know how to spar yet. Loose the beasts and they savage anything that moves, friend or foe. Found an old beggar to train him on. Roots ripped him to meat goblets in a blink. Good. We want them vicious. Find some more beggars to train them on. Another but keep a like watchful yesterday. eye when you're dumping the bodies next time. We don't need the guards sniffing around here again. Of course not. Okay, there she goes. She might have heard me for a second. Someone asking for trouble? Let's have is someone there. Of course not. Thank you. Anybody coming? Hope not. Hey guys, uh, I know you're you're nice little puppers, honestly, um, but I gotta kill you. I don't know if there's a better way to kill you. We got a new bone charm. Hey, focus strike. Yep, we're gonna actually F5 real quick, save it. We'll see what we got for our final bone charm. Sword attacks are slower, but they deal more damage. Tempting. Hey guys. Uh, how about. We don't worry about any of that. And uh, we just clean up our, our side quest here. Let's 
go maybe burn him. Which is... Down... Here. No. Gotta throw him in there. No. You gotta... You gotta throw him in... Okay, come on. Good enough, I think. Yep, that worked. Perfect. So now we can turn off the suppression device. Before we do that, let's make sure we've looted everything in here. Money. We're back in neutral territory. Hey, guys. Nothing uh, personal when I do this, okay? I promise. I don't mean anything by it. Oh, what happened? What? Why did you do that? Oh. Hey. Oh, okay. Down. Lurk. I knew you'd seek me out one day. I didn't think it would be like this. You were hard to find. How did you end up here? So let's talk somewhere else. The Eyeless have more secrets than you know. I've got a ship. Or what's left of it. The Dreadful Whale. It's docked below the Akintila repair station. Dowd, I... Say whatever you want to say, Billy. That you're here now is enough. I need your help. Like old times? Those days are gone. This is something bigger. One last job. I can do it. Who's the Mark? The one responsible for it all. The cults. The black magic. This mark on my hand. We're gonna kill the black-eyed bastard himself. What? The... You want to kill the outsider? You want to kill God? Sounds like that's I what he wants to do to me. And the old man's got me jumping right back into this occult shit. <laughs> Dowd can explain himself back on the dreadful whale. Sweet. 